Question number 8. The complex number u is defined by u is equal to 6 minus 3i over 1 plus 2i. Showing all your working, find the modulus of u and show that the argument of u is minus half pi. And for the second part, for the complex number z satisfying the argument z minus u is equal to quarter pi, find the least possible value of the mod of z. Third part, for the complex numbers mod satisfying for the complex number z satisfying mod of z minus 1 plus i in brackets times u is equal to 1, find the greatest possible value of the mod of z. Okay, good. So let's do it now. This is the question. Now we need to uh, express u, all right, and find the modulus of u. So first of all, we say u is equal to 6 minus 3i plus 1 over 2i times the conjugate of the denominator. So this is going to give us this much, all right. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times minus 2 is minus 12. Minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. So minus 12 minus 3 is minus 15i. Minus times minus becomes plus. 2 times 3 is 6. And we got i squared divided by 1 to the square minus 4i squared. Okay, so u is going to be uh, 6 minus 15i. All right, um, plus 6 times minus 1 because i squared is minus 1. So we got 1 minus 4 times minus 1. I got u is equal to 6 minus 6 minus 15i divided by 1 minus minus 4 is 5. 6 minus 6 is 0. And I got minus 15i over 5, which gives me minus 3i. So this is u. Now what would be the mod of u? Therefore the mod of u is going to be minus 3 plus 0 to the square. And that's going to give us 9 plus 0 is 9 and root of 9 is 3. So the mod of u is 3. Now we need to find um, to show that uh, the argument is minus half pi. Okay, so that argument of u is equal to minus half minus half pi. Okay, the best way is to illustrate it on a diagram. We've got our real axis, and this is our imaginary axis. We've got zero here. And uh, what do we have? It is minus 3i. That's u. Okay, so 0 minus 3i, let us say, approximately here. All right, so if we going in that direction, so here we are. This is going to be minus 1 quarter pi. Because the whole thing is pi, so this one quarter. Minus, sorry, minus half pi. All right. So here we've shown that the argument of that the argument of u is minus half pi. There we are. Now done. For the other part, the second part, we need uh, to find the least possible value of the mod of z uh, for the argument uh, z minus u. Okay, is equal to one quarter. Find the least possible value of z. Okay, so what is this? This is basically saying z minus u and u is minus 3i. So minus 3i. Okay, so that's the argument. Let's go to quarter pi. Now this is half a line, as you can see. Alright, therefore what is the um, illustration? So this is a real axis, imaginary axis. Now this is 0 and uh, minus, minus 3i. So minus 3i, let us say somewhere here. And from here we're going to be drawing half a line. So the half line goes in this direction. And you've got a quarter pi here. Right. So this angle here is quarter pi. Right. Where is the least value of z, complex number z on this? It is when this line is dropped here, it makes 90 degrees. So this from here to here will give us the least value of z. z is going to be the least here. So this is pi upon 4 again, and therefore we have a small triangle, right angle triangle here. Now therefore this is pi upon 4, and this is pi upon 4, this is going to be pi upon 4, 45 degrees. All right, so this is going to be 1, 1 square root of 2. All right, and um, 
But, but, but the problem is we have this as three, all right? So let me just draw another triangle. This is our triangle. So we got then five and four. This one is three. And we need to find Z. Okay. Sorry about that. So we need to find Z here. Right, so I'm going to find Z. A descent over hypotenuse is going to be cos. So cos of the angle pi up and 4 is going to give us the A descent Z over the hypotenuse 3. So then, in other words, we're saying Z is equal to 3 times cos over um, pi up and 4. And what is cos of pi up and 4? Pi up and 4, the cos A descent over hypotenuse 1 over root of 2. So you've got 3 times 1 over root of 2, which is 3 over root of 2. Therefore, the least uh, possible value of z is going to be 3 root of 2 divided by 2, because 1 over root of 2, if you do the conjugate, the manipulation of thirds here, you're going to get it as root 2 over 2. Okay, so 3 root 2 over 2. So here we are, that's the least possible value of z. Now, for the other part, part 3 of the question. So part 3 of the question, we need to find um, for the complex number z, complex number satisfying the mod of z minus 1 plus i times u is equal to 1. We need to find the greatest possible find greatest value of the mod of z. Good, now what is this again? This is one mod of 1 minus 1 plus i times u. And u, we found u was minus 3i. So we're going to be putting minus 3i here times minus 3i here. It's equal to 1. Therefore we got z minus Minus 3i times 1 is minus 3i. Minus 3i times i is minus 3i squared is equal to 1. So z minus, okay, um, minus 3i minus 3 times minus 1 to the square. Oh, sorry, minus 1, what am I saying? Because i squared is minus 1. Okay, that's good. Right, so it's going to be equal to 1. So we've got then z minus 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 becomes plus, we have 3 minus 3i it's equal to 1. Now this looks like a circle to me, so this is the center of the circle and that's the radius. So let's draw it. Therefore, if I were to draw roughly a circle, sketch a circle, so this is the imaginary axis, we've got the real axis and this is 0 3 minus 3. So let us see 3 is here and minus 3i is somewhere here. So we've got our center here. The radius is 1. So it's the 2 here. 1. And that becomes 2i. That becomes 4i. Okay, so 1, 1. It's going to become 2, 4. Okay, that's fine. So here's the circle, roughly speaking. The greatest possible value of the mod of z can draw a line here. That's the least from here to here and the greatest will be at the extreme end of the circle. Now we know that the radius is 1. What we can do, we can find the distance from here to here. Okay, so that's going to be then using Pythagoras theorem. So I'm going to find from O, let's just say this point here Okay, from O to X. Okay, and you got then this one is 3, 3, so 3, 3, so 3, 3. 3 to the square plus 3 to the square is 9 plus 9. That's going to give us a root of 18, which is basically 3, uh, root of 3 times 2, because 9 times 2 is 18. So root of 9 is 3. Okay, so root of 9 is 3, sorry. So we've got 3 root of 2. Am I okay? So hang on, hang on a second. Root of 18, 9 times 2. Root of 9 is 3, so we've got 3 root 2. Good. So here we are. Now 3 root 2 
this is 3 root of 2 from here to here okay and this is 1 so the greatest value let's call this p1 this one is p and this is p1 so then the greatest value of the mode of z satisfying this is going to give us 3 root 2 plus 1. Here we are for this question. Alright, so let me just uh, check out this thing so, um, to make sure that everything is fine. Okay, so the root of 18 is going to give us 3 root 2 and 3 root 2. That's fine. Good. Excellent. So this question is taken from June 2011, Advanced Level Maths, HSE. P3.